Hi again. So, for those who uh, regularly watch my videos, you'll know that I have a whole slew of Octanes. Uh, I actually gave away four over the last two weekends, so I'm down to nine. Yippee! Uh, but, I had an issue where uh, the one that I reassembled had a prompt password which I didn't know. Uh, when I was getting rid of a bunch of them, I decided now was the time to go through them and find out what was what. So I plugged every single one of them in. I have three casualties. They don't live, but most of the rest of them are good. Um, they range from dual 195 MHz R10Ks to dual 360 MHz R12Ks, uh, that being my Octane 2. The highest spec the original Octane is a dual 300 MHz R12K. And they run between 128 MHz and 4 GB RAM. They all have the MXI graphics, which is the uh, top of the line, max impact. So, except for the um, Octane 2, which is a V-Pro. But most of these machines, good shape. Uh, I'm pretty lucky. However, as I said, we have the PROM password. And I had to do a bit of research to work out how to bypass this. And thankfully, they make it nice and easy. So first things first, we need to unscrew the main board. There she goes. You'll see this one's got heaps of RAMs. I actually put more in it, so um, it's got a bit more than it did when we looked at it last. So just like a PC, to bypass the PROM password, there is a jumper. And on PCs, usually you just short out the entire CMOS and it blanks everything, so you have to set it back up again. These, they have a specific jumper. And it is right here. And so we take our middle nose pliers and we remove it from the password enable position and then drop it to the password disable position and then throw it back in the system Now there's a trick. Uh, not so much a trick, but something that it would have been really handy if the manual had explained. And it's this. Now remember it takes, what, five seconds for us to bring video up? Look, no video. Now, what's going on? At first when I saw this, I thought it was broken. I thought that maybe there was another method of securing the system and uh, doing the password prom um, disabled didn't actually do it. What they neglect to mention is that it takes about 10 minutes for the video to come up. I don't know whether it's doing some kind of extended diagnostics or whether it is um, slowed down so that, you know, if you're sneaking into an office at night and breaking into a whole bunch of octanes it would be more difficult to do because it takes 10 minutes for every single damn one. I'm just not sure. But if you wait 10 minutes... And now here we are back at the... Uh, I'm pissed off because I have no disk screen. And we enter the command monitor now. Warning, password jumper has been removed. Not enforcing prom password. Yes, we will continue. Now, at the moment, the prom still has the password in it, it's just ignoring it. So we use the command reset pw, password cleared. And then, when we reset it, uh, and don't forget to put the password enable uh, switch back on, or else it'll take another 10 damn minutes for it to come up, it will be passwordless. Huzzah! Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.